Hey, you know what? I told you guys a story uh, a while ago about uh, that damn shower uh, stick uh, and my incident in the shower. And it's a true story. And uh, so I hit the pause button when I took a commercial break so the sponsor could come on the air and do the commercials and pay for the podcast. And, uh, you know, we got to pay the bills around this son, bitch. And a horse fly come over here on the goddamn table. And I didn't have nothing to hit him with. And so I snatch that motherfucker up in a headlock. I put a fucking headlock on a horse fly. Snatch that motherfucker up. He tried to fly away. So I took him over. And we lay in there on the goddamn floor. And this is a horse fly, goddamn. And I ain't talking about no regular fly. I put that son in a headlock. And he, and he started talking to me. He goes, oh, he goes, all right, kid. One tackle. Drop down. Hip toss. And I said, I said, what? He goes, all right, kid. One tackle. Drop down, hip toss. I said, God damn, I said, we ain't having no fucking wrestling match. I said, I'll put you in a headlock because I'm fixed to throw your ass either through that window or you can take the stairs when I open the door for your ass. I ain't going to let you fucking start calling high spots when I put you in a headlock. I said, if I was to wrestle you, I'm calling the goddamn match. I heard the high spots you called, but I'm overriding it. The high spot's going to be me sticking a goddamn thumb in your eye and throwing your ass out the fucking front door. End of story. End of match. Ain't going to be no match. So what happened was he tried to fucking get away. He tried to send me into the ropes. Uh, and what Basically, we're trying to use the size of the camera as a wrestling match here. As a wrestling ring, he tried to shoot me in, and I held on to him, and he tried to shoot me in again. You see it on the wrestling match all the time, and I held on the second time when he tried to send me across the trailer, and I, I outsmarted that son bitch. I opened the door while I had him in a headlock, and I backed him into the refrigerator for a clean break. And when he did a clean break, I let off off of him. I, I raked his eyes, and I put the boots to him. I grabbed him by his wings, and I threw that motherfucker out the door and slammed it on him. And then he started... He started beating on the side of the fucking door. I said, what's that? What's that noise? The fucking horse fly was trying to get back inside, and he said... Come out here, motherfucker. I ain't through with you yet. Not by a long shot. Well, homie, don't play that shit. When I got an award-winning podcast to record, I got to get my work done. So I went to my backpack. I grabbed my Glock 45, and I put one in the chamber, and I kicked open that door, and I put up that damn pistol in his face. I said, motherfucker, I'm about to record a podcast. We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. Either you gonna shut your motherfucking pie hole up and stop pounding on my fucking door, or I'm gonna blow your goddamn brains out. Which one's it gonna be? Horsefly looks at me. He says, God damn, you ain't gotta get hot about it. And he flew off. Motherfucking fly pushed me to the brink, put a gun in his face. He told me I ain't have to get hot about it. I'm coming back to wrap up his show. All right, everybody, give me the go home cue. It's time to take his podcast, wrap it up, put it on a little chip, plug it into my computer, and send it down to Stacy down there in the 90210 BH, Beverly Hills, California. Stacy, I want to say thank you very much for providing me with the word of the day, folks. Word of the day, courtesy of old Stacy down there, podcast one is plethora plethora is the word of the day let me tell you what plethora means according to the urban dictionary it means more than a few a quantity in excess of what is actually practical an exorbitant amount lots tons folks let me put it in a goddamn sentence for you i had a plethora a motherfucking plethora of flies in my trailer yesterday and today. And my stupid ass ain't got no fly swatter. So last night, right before I went lights out, drinking my glass of wine after a hard ass day, washing down the trail dust, had already laid down because the flies was fucking buzzing me. Because a plethora of flies was buzzing me, I got off my ass, put on my flip flop to grab the towel, and executed with extreme prejudice for my fucking flies four flies amounts to a plethora 
And now that plethora of flies is dead. They gone, extinct. They will breathe no more oxygen on this earth because they piss me off. And when a fly pisses me off, he must die. And that's what they did last night, about 10, 15 p.m., right when I was trying to lay my weary head down on my pillow to take my big ass to sleep. My big egg head ass, as C.T. Fletcher would say, to sleep. So fuck, plethora is the word of the day. Stacy, that was a good word of the day.